somewhere in the intermediate level, more so than newer. All right. Uh, but I still fully expect Matt to kind of style on him. Yeah, I. I no, no offense to oversteps. Yeah, but you know, Matt, it's it's early in bracket. Matt is probably going to go for silly stuff. Uh, oh well, oh. this. Wow, and oversteps takes the first uh, stock. That that right there is why grabbing the ledge is so good. Yeah, uh, I, I as Marth always overthink situations, uh -huh. but often a lot. If you grab ledge, you stop your opponent from sweet spotting. And you can even cover their options to get back. That was really nice movement by Oversteps. I was kind of impressed there. But I guess Matt maybe is temporarily not fooling around so much. Um, takes the stock. So now we have an even game. I think the, the, the thing in this matchup with FOD is that if the Falco messes up spacing and Mar Marth kind of throws out forward smashes and spaces them well enough, uh -huh. Falco can die really early. This is true. Conversely, I think with the platforms, that can mess up Marth's movement and also his tipper ranges through the platforms. Yeah. One, one, sorry. One thing that um, one thing Marth definitely gains on this stage where he doesn't get on any other stage is you can get really nice um, back throw into forward smash setups where if they're if the platform height is low, you can back throw them onto the uh, onto the platform. And depending on where they tech in the yeah, I yeah, like doing that yeah. actually. And that's pretty Very unique good. to Fountain because there's no other stage with platforms so low. So this so actually used to be my worst matchup, and just because 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 of that actually, a laser. lot of people don't understand that w when Falco Great shoots counter. a. When Falco shoots a late, oh, that was you gotta capitalize on that kind of stuff because then to. look at all this percent. Oh, that's yeah, that's, that's a stock. Unfortunate. So the thing with Falco's lasers that uh, a lot of people don't understand is that I is that their level of uh, what they actually do is try to stop your movement, but the actual hit stun that the lasers have you in is not that long. I think it's only right. four frames. So if so, yeah, Falco can shoot a laser up close to you. Oh, see, I was waiting for the spot dodge again. He would have grabbed him. I or was, not spot dodge, the air dodge. I was waiting for him to punish that recovery he did one and a half seconds before, but he let Matt do it twice in a row. Um, and that's the end game. So I think, like, w back to what I was saying about lasers, though, if even if Falco hits you with the laser, if he's not exactly where he has to be, like, just outside of Marth's sort dash range, uh -huh. like, Marth can take the hit and just straight up hit him. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. I'm right after this game, though. Marsh All right. Are you, are you getting to what? how... You can you can sometimes eat a laser and then jab. You can either and laser some, like jab. That's actually not, you can not fort. bad. Like sometimes what I like doing and it's like intermediate level Falcos who uh -huh. will just laser me all day. Yep. Is sometimes honestly I'll just dash forward and hit them hit them out of it. Yeah. Cause then cause then it gets to a point where oh man are they really doing are we seeing the Marth dots up here? Looks uh. like we are. All right, Matt's Marth is not bad. Yeah, I've seen it take a few stocks off like a bait, and I and I I figure his a uh, flashy play style might translate somewhat. But let's see how he does in this. It does. He d he definitely has his uh you know his thirst for styling. I remember he said, "Oh, like, like, wow!" Like, like how we just saw. Yeah, that uh, that moonwalk that, definitely put. Oh, and, and, that was really nice. And again, nice. you know, Matt Matt's just. He has good, he has he has good tech skill with every character that he plays, and. He just has very, very, very sophisticated knowledge of the combo tree, for especially for Falco in like every matchup. But yeah, even, he's even, kind of silly there. He just charged it. Even with other characters, his combo game is on point. I feel like that comes with the amount of experience that uh, Matt's had playing this game. For I agree. So long. Yeah. What do you? So this is actually a matchup I'm studying at the moment. Right okay. now, I have a I have a Google Doc of what I consider the optimal. Uh, the optimal punish tree off of F throw against Marth. Okay. So uh, this is one one matchup I struggle a lot in. So I like to hear your thoughts on what makes the matchup like what it is. Crouch canceling is really good. If you have them stuck at the ledge and you're at crouch cancel percent, a lot of times Marths will try and um, they'll try and force their way onto the stage. They'll try and hit you with a nair or a fair. But crouch you can crouch cancel down tilt. You can crouch cancel up B. Uh, crouch canceling is really good in the matchup. Grab, all obviously, is very good in the matchup. So, like, what you are the good follow-ups off a of grab at the at the higher percents, like around 70? Higher percents, you could go for forward throw, dash forward, pivot forward smash. You could go for forward throw, dash attack. You could go for forward throw, short hop forward air or short hop nair. 
you could go for um, oh that was a great counter yeah that was also I don't I can't tell if that was awful di by overstep's or if he was just screwed in that situation that was Bermuda triangle di yeah, it was go it was, there, it was bad back. di but, but oh but yeah he's styling I think having having up bead and his counter hitting the up b the, all he could have done was di well he couldn't. He couldn't get his double jump back, and it still would have been an edge guard situation for Mark. I mean, for Matt. So it, it, Matt probably still would have gotten the kill, but but you're right that I mean, Di is important. Yeah. But uh, this is this is another thing. These uh, that whole like up air string was really good. Marth juggles himself extremely well. He's spacing so well. Like he's just out because a lot of Marths. What I'll see them do is they'll mess up the spacing and get hit by Marths like a straight down air or something coming right, down. Right. But Matt was putting himself in a position right beneath Marth where his up air is going to be.